The topic of this webcast is protein biosynthesis, which is a remarkable example of recognition and reactivity. Protein biosynthesis, in a nutshell, is templated, meaning that there's going to be a messenger RNA whose sequence was derived from DNA and whose sequence codes for the particular amino acid sequence in the final protein. It's iterative, meaning that the process is cyclical. It repeats itself over and over again. We're going to pick up and show just one cycle of this iterative process in this webcast. And the key step, the key organic step, is amid bond formation. So as far as the recognition part of this recognition and reactivity that must take place to maintain high fidelity of protein sequence, the recognition part is the recognition that takes place between the messenger RNA's codon and the transfer RNA's anticodon. So here, for example, we see the transfer RNA that codes for serine. And the last amino acid group that's connected to this growing peptide chain is that serine group that we saw in the last webcast is bound to the three prime hydroxyl group of the terminus of that transfer RNA. Now this growing peptide chain already has an amid bond formed to that amino acid that the amino group of the amino acid serine. What we want to see in this webcast is how this carboxylic ester is transformed into the next amide bond of this growing peptide chain. This carbonyl group is going to be exchanged an ester to an amide. What happens is the next codon in the messenger RNA is ready to bind that leucine transfer RNA that we prepared in the previous webcast with its anticodon GAA and bound to the leucine molecule that has this free amino group which is going to function as the nucleophile for this electrophilic carbonyl group of the ester on the adjacent and growing polypeptide chain. So once this binds, what we have is the situation here. This is the templated process. Leucine, with its amino group, does the nucleophile addition to the polarized pi bond followed by beta elimination that proceeds through the tetrahedral intermediate. And once again, I'm showing those two-step sequences as this abbreviated mechanism. By that process, then, a new amide bond is formed between the leucine and the serine. And so in the next slide, you'll notice that that bond has been formed through that two-step sequence. And that's the process of one iteration of the protein biosynthesis. Notice now that that serine transfer RNA is free. It's able to go and diffuse away to pick up an, another uh, molecule of serine by the serine synthetase uh, that we talked about in the previous webcast. Next, what's going to happen is an alanine transfer RNA is going to come in and bind. Its amino group will react with this carboxylic ester, and the new amide bond will form, and the, growing, and the peptide will continue to grow. That's the way by which templated iterative peptide bond formation is involved in protein biosynthesis.